Hey guys, even here, and after the dust of Chicago Pro has settled, we can continue with more bodybuilding updates, so we are one week out of Tampa Pro, and right now you're looking at most likely the winner of Tampa Pro, Ian Valier, who looks absolutely ridiculous at one week out. Look at this guy, I mean look at his chest, look at the glutes that are actually absolutely dialed in. After working for a while with Patrick Tour and after letting his coach understand his body fully, they kind of figured it out last year, it took him a couple of shows. So first, at Tampa Pro last year, they completely missed it. They cut out water and they used their ethics, and so the result was him being flat as a pancake and he lost the show, he was second at Tampa last year. He was beaten by Hunter. Then, at the New York Pro, they did nothing, no changes. It was just another high carb day. And he looked great, but he wasn't exactly super peeled, super dry, shredded. Then, at the Mr. Olympia, they nailed the look. And Ian proved himself as a top 7 bodybuilder in the world. Now, after having another off-season under their belts, they know his body even more. And they also figured out some stuff in the off-season to help him progress. And it seems like he is progressing. This guy looks absolutely insane. With this small waist, look at how small his waist is. Yeah, he's covering it with his, with his hand, but still, it's a really small waist from the side. And the glutes are shredded, the quads are enormous, the hamstrings, I think, have improved. The chest looks much bigger. You cannot see the back in this pose, but the back also looks better. Overall, just a, just a freak, such a freak, I mean, he looks absolutely freaky, and if Raleigh didn't compete at the Chicago Pro and placed so low, I would have him in second, I would expect Raleigh to beat Ian, but now, no way, no way, if I was a betting man, I would definitely bet on Ian, because I don't know what went wrong with Raleigh, I have no idea. My best guess would be that he was flat, that his peak week didn't work out well, he was lean, guys. As Milo Sarcher says right here, he was lean. If you look at it closely, he was shredded. Guys, he was peeled. This is probably the same as 2018 conditioning. He probably just wasn't full enough. He didn't have the pop, nothing to stretch his skin, to make him look bigger, fuller, harder. I think he was lean enough, and I think he can fix that, as Milos says here, for Tampa. So he's gonna be probably, most likely, much more dangerous bodybuilder. Then he was this Chicago Pro where he took 5th place, that was really low for a guy of his status. So here he said a few things, I mean, he didn't really say what exactly happened, uh, he didn't go to specifics, but he had to say something, so he said he's gonna be again on the stage next week at Tampa Pro. So he's gonna be doing Tampa, he needs to win a show to qualify, I mean, he got shredded. What for? For no reason? And is he gonna win Arnold? Well, it's gonna be very hard now. Now, after being 5th at Chicago Pro, beaten by a rookie, by Max Charles, by Mohamed Shaban, for him to win the Arnold Classic, he, he has to win the Tampa. If he doesn't win the Tampa against Ian Wallier, or he's like 3rd or 4th or something, then yeah, the likelihood of him winning the Arnold Classic is gonna be very tiny. I don't see that happening, but... If he really nails the look again at the Tampa Pro, I mean, it's gonna be hard. Beating Ian, Ian is really good right now. He has made so much progress and Rolly is not getting younger. Rolly is in his 40s, I think he's like 44 or 45, guys. That's, that, that's a lot of years. He is not a youngster. So at this point, he's probably, uh, his physique is going down. I mean, he cannot really make a lot of progress at this point. He can come in better conditioning, in worse condition, he can peak better or worse, come fuller or flatter, but to improve on his physique, not likely, not likely at that age. So, again, we will see what's gonna happen at the Tampa first. Does he have a chance of winning that show? For sure, for sure, if he nails the look, yeah. But it's gonna be tough. And only if he wins the Tampa, there is a chance for him to win the Arnold. But it's not really necessary. If he wins the Tampa, he's qualified for the Mr. Olympia. So, it's gonna be a tough show, Tampa Pro, it might be better than Chicago Pro, and overall this entire year is gonna be great for bodybuilding, it is great for bodybuilding, a lot of competitors, a lot of good competitors, very competitive lineups, deep lineups, a lot of quality, and not too many chances to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, so these guys need to work extra hard if they want to qualify for the Mr. Olympia, it's not gonna be easy this year, no, and that's probably why this year is so good. 
and it's only getting better and it's gonna be better and better we have Arnold and Olympia left it's gonna be a really good year for bodybuilding hell we might even see Phil Heath on the stage again so here he congratulated Hunter Labrada for winning Chicago Pro and qualifying for the Mr. Olympia and you can see his comment down below he says he's prepping for something just not what people are guessing and what does that mean uh, I, I don't get the impression that he's talking about a bodybuilding show so he might be prepping for a Phil Heath documentary for another smaller show or I don't know maybe Atlanticon or who knows what but I don't think he confirmed us that he's going to be competing in a bodybuilding show this year or Mr. Olympia. We don't really know anything yet. And he says it's not what people are guessing. And people are guessing that he's going to be doing either Arnold or Olympia or another show. So it might be something completely different. It seems like he's talking about something outside of bodybuilding. I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be, but it doesn't really feel like he's talking about a bodybuilding show. And yeah, it kind of sucks not seeing Phil hit again, but then also if his stomach is the same like it was last year, I don't really have a need to, to, to actually see that again. I mean, you know, Phil Heath, his best versions are all the way back in 2011, 12, 13, 15, 16 are fine, then 17 was, I guess, decent, 18 was a mess, 2020 was even worse, so why would we have to see another, probably worse, edition of Phil Heath again for him to place second third whatever i don't think we really need that i don't think so so let's wait and see what's gonna happen with phil heat but i would love to see him on stage if he's fixed if he looks better now if he looks great if he looks worse or the same like last year i don't really need to see that i would prefer to see other bodybuilders with uh, controlled and good looking midsections way more than seeing Phil Heath again looking like a mess. Just being honest, guys. I don't know if you feel the same way or not, but whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. It's uh, Mikael Krijo this time around, saying that he's uh, eight weeks out of Arnold Classic. Is he really prepping for Arnold Classic? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. I didn't hear anything. He's from Europe. He's like very close to my country, and I know people who know him. And uh, he's very well paid over here. It's the, that's the thing. That's why a lot of bodybuilders from Europe don't want to switch to MPC or to IV Pro League because they already make they're already making a lot of money. And him, if he moved to MPC to actually IV Pro League, how well would he place? Could he like win the Arnold Classic? Hell no. He would probably be like top ten. I don't know. I have to see him compared to three other guys, but. Yeah, he's a little bit taller, he does have some weaknesses, he's not really on that level of a professional IB Pro League bodybuilder, so I don't think he's gonna risk his contracts, uh, whatever he has in IBB Elite Pro, so yeah, this is probably a joke, because a lot of people want him to cross over, and he, I don't think he, he wants to do it, but he's just trolling people. Honestly guys, I would love that to be the truth, I would love to see him on that stage, but... I doubt that right now. If I get any more information, I will inform you. So subscribe to my channel, guys. All right, and finally, after a long time, we can see an actual physique update of Cedric McMillan. Now, he made this fun video here, so it's himself uh, teaching himself how to pose. It's a great video. I don't know how he makes these videos, but uh, it's definitely very funny. Look at this. But uh, let's not focus, let's not pay attention to that too much. Let's pay attention to his physique because he is doing Arnold Classic. In case you guys forgot, he is a former champ. He won the Arnold Classic in 2017, four years ago, and uh, he's gonna be one of the champions on that stage. Him, William Bonac, remind me if there are any other Arnold Classic winners, but. This guy, right now, I mean, he had that injury, he broke a few bones in his hand, and a collarbone as well, and after that incident, I don't think he looked as good as he looked before it. So here you can see that age is, it looks like age is taking a toll on his body. I might be wrong though, maybe he's gonna fix it all, maybe he's just uh, growing into the show, doing something like that. But I honestly doubt that, I don't think that's gonna be the case, I'm pretty sure. Cedric McMillan is not gonna win the Arnold Classic or probably not even place in like top 3, 4, 5. I don't know, we'll see. Guys, you know I'm a huge fan of Cedric McMillan. He's one of the guys that motivated me the most. All those videos that he made back in the day, 
he looked so aesthetic. I mean, he had those long muscle bellies, crazy symmetry, crazy lines, and he's also about my height. So back when I was younger, when I was delusional, and when I thought I could become a professional bodybuilder in the open division, I used to look up to him. And this is what I wanted to look like, really. I, I was really, he was like uh, my, my inspiration. And uh, his 2012, for example, version of New York Pro is still one of the best versions of any bodybuilder of all time, in my book. But I think age is taking a toll on his body, or the injuries, or whatever. It seems like he's not gonna be at his best this Arnold Classic, very unfortunately. I might be wrong, I would love to be wrong. But we'll see in about 8 weeks. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it. For more bodybuilding videos like this, subscribe to my channel guys. All the best and bye bye.